All right, dude, this is what we just watched there. Final Fantasy has to do something fucking fast. All right, what? Clear Final Fantasy 14 hardest contents with four keys. And in this video, you will see how to improve your keyboard's lifetime with one simple trick Square Enix is apparently unable to detect. Uh, all right. Decided to clear P1S with the help of a bots add-on to show how simple it actually is even for the worst player. I used four add-ons for this. One draws telegraphs on your screen to show you and or how to dodge damage. The second and third are reactions packs for the current Savage tier. They include things such as the use of certain skills at a certain time. For example, the use of Troubadour when an AoE will occur. It's as loud as it can fucking go, people. I, I genuinely don't know how to make this louder. It, it, this guy's video is just stupidly quiet. Like, can you guys hear it now? Hello, I decided to clear P1S with the help of a bots add-on to show how simple it actually is even for the worst player. I used four add-ons for this. One draws telegraphs on your screen to show you and or how to dodge damage. The second and third are reactions packs for the current Savage tier. They include things such as the use of certain skills at a certain Certain time. What the hell is an is a reaction pack what I think it is? It seems like it's a, a VTuber avatar, yeah. So by the way, for those of you that want to know, because I can barely hear what the fucking guy is saying, but for those of you that want to hear, this guy is explaining how to clear the Final Fantasy content using four keys only, um, using these add-ons. So reaction packs, what I'm not sure what they do is, do they react on your behalf? Or do they simply tell you to react? Um, I don't know. For example, the use of Troubadour when an AOE will occur. This also serves as a cack bot on steroids. Sadly, I can't show you its full potential in the game since it shows the name of the players in some cases but you will see that I'm doing the run without my UI. This shows that the add-on provides me with enough information to resolve mechanics such as Shackle of Times or Fourfold. And my fourth and last add-on is a basic bard profile that plays the job for me. I'm not going to show the full fight, but I will show you the key mechanics of it. I also added a key press detector on the bottom left to show you that I'm only pressing W, S, and D keys, and sometimes right and left click to move the camera. As soon as the fight starts, you can see that my character does the bard rotation and even uses a potion, and not without me pressing any keys. At this exact oh, moment, on God, my left dude. monitor, I got the information that the color of my shackle of time is red and my partner's is blue, so I went to my spot. It did not tell me where to exactly go to be honest with you. And the reason is because I did not set the add-on up properly. So I still had to use my brain for that. Right after, the boss is about to cast Jailer's Flail. And as you can see the telegraphs are drawn on my screen and the color changes to red when the boss casts it. This mechanic is fairly easy to understand but for someone who never set foot in this duty, it's another story. It does the same for the knockback on the tank in the end Dude, what mechanic. the fuck? Intemperance worked the same way as Shackle of Time. Me not setting up the add-on properly forced me to use my brain, but I still had information such as which crystal to take next. For this the should not be allowed. Phase, I had the telegraph this should drawn not on be my allowed. screen, so it was really easy to do that phase properly. And for Forfoot, the same thing as Shackle of Time. It was my bad for not setting up the add-on properly, but I still had enough information to resolve it without the help of my UI as you can see. Anyway, I won't show you the rest of the fight since it's basically the same shit as the phase one. So yeah, this shows that the shittiest player in this game can clear the hard content with the help of literal cheat. Now don't get me wrong, even though Cactbot helps you resolve mechanics, it is not as powerful as this and it will probably never be. I guarantee you that if two new players went in P1S, one with Cactbot and the second one with the tools I used in this video. Only the second one would be able to clear the run. There is no more prestige in clearing high-end content. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, dude, this is what we just watched there. Final Fantasy has to do something fucking fast. Well, technically it's not really a cheating uh, tutorial because he's not actually telling you which add-ons he used. Um... He's, he's basically, he's hiding all of the add-ons that he used. I think what this guy is trying to do here is he's trying to show that Square Enix has to do something in fast. If they don't do something about these add-ons, because this basically shows you that you can have add-ons that play the game for you. Now, much of that is because a lot of what happens in Final Fantasy actually happens client-side and not so much on the server side of things. So your client does interfere quite a little bit. Um, 
So I would argue this is this is a huge fucking problem. Which is previous videos, he's trying to show the problem, calling on Yoshi P. This is definitely like if this is actually true. If this is actually happening, Final Fantasy has to step up. And it's not enough that they say, we don't want you to use uh, videos like this. It, that, it's not enough. Marini, Ma Marie, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it, they have to step in and remove this. I don't know, with the recent Blizz bullshit, do you think Dragonflight might be a clusterfuck? Shubrin's, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, let me just finish this conversation and then we can talk about WoW. Um, because the... Okay, so in World of Warcraft, add-ons is an issue, right? Add-ons is an issue in World of Warcraft, but you would struggle. So the only thing you could possibly get in World of Warcraft that would do similar things to this would be bots. And bots are very much against TOS. And also, finding a bot that can actually do the fight is that's not really why bots exist most bots just farm and shit like that um so it 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 you wouldn't get an add-on that can do shit like this blizzard basically whenever add-ons go this far like drawing things on your screen uh blizzard will disable that functionality um wins thanks for doing something really appreciate that 22 months in a row thank you thank you thank you uh th this is this is a huge fucking problem like it's not enough for yoshi p and the team to ask people nicely what these things do is it diminishes the actual investment and uh, the actual um time that people have put into clearing this content the normal way because what ends up happening is since there is add-ons that can effectively play the game for you how can you trust anyone that has done the content? Because suddenly anyone can do the content. So someone comes to you and they say, yeah, I've done this on Ultimate. Well, did you have the add-on? Because we don't know. We would never know. So you're effectively destroying the achievement of being able to do something because there are now basically anyone that can fucking do it. Why does it matter if I next year? I don't know. Uh, would you mind if uh, you practice to run the 100 meter dash in um, every day of your life for about two years and then at the end of the two years we come in and we break your legs would that bother you if we just took away that achievement because who cares or here's a better example you work your ass off to get the gold medal and then suddenly we go and we give everyone a gold medal because why wouldn't we? So you're not the only one with a gold medal. Everyone now has a gold medal because why not? What do you mean it doesn't matter? The very reason people do content at the highest level is bragging rights. It's the ability to say that I have done it. If anyone can do it easily without even having to try, then it no longer matters. Then you may as well just not do it. There were people using bots, but I don't think anyone w was using these kinds of bots. So the bots we're talking about here, I don't think anyone during the World First Race were using these bots. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, Vanex here, but just because you know it, doesn't mean that your entire activity have now been diminished. You might be someone that really doesn't give a fuck about it, and a congratulations to you, but that's not how many people feel about it. So the argument, why does it matter? It matters because it does. Because if content is going to be hard, it has to remain hard. It would, well, basically the gaming equivalent of this would be if um, Elden Ring tomorrow basically nerf their entire game by 200%. Or better, you practice for a marathon and then suddenly someone on the track pops up uh, with a car and says they won the marathon fair and square. Perfect, perfect fucking example. Th that is actually the perfect example. You're running the marathon. Someone else then jumps into the car drives to the finish line, gets out just before the finish line, runs over the line, and they're the winner, they get the gold medal. So, yeah, you might you might have finished it the normal way, but they finished it too, according to their medal. They finished it too. Um, DBM does the same thing and is not cheating. Uh, Nightshoft, what do you mean DBM does the same thing? Because DBM does something similar, but not to that degree. Because this guy wasn't even, so just to be clear, this guy wasn't even costing anything. The bot was doing his entire rotation for him. All he had to do was run to the locations marked on the map. He didn't have to press any buttons to cast any spells. He literally just had to run to the place on the map. Why even play the game? Because for some people, cheating is a means to an end. 
they want to be able to say I have done it and they don't really give a fuck about putting in the hard work um, they just want to say I've done it these would be the same people that that wants everyone else's money so that they don't have to work um, Wobble be, wobble be sure. There you go. I absolutely would not want FF14 devs to tune up their game to try to counteract add-ons, being forced to install and update add-ons all the time to keep up. No, I'm I'm 100% in agreement with you there. I'm 100% in agreement. The reason I think add-ons, specifically just normal combat add-ons, so just a normal DBM add-on or something similar to a DBM add-on, um, even that, I would say don't put it in the game because it will fundamentally change the development of the game. Karen, no, I'm not comparing an add-on to a bot here. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, dude, this, these are four add-ons that the guy downloaded that plays all of this shit for him, that does all of this shit for him. Bots have always been illegal and bots do a whole bunch of things. But these things you can literally just grab and start playing with it. The fact that these things exist is a fucking problem. The fact that these things can even do that is a problem so it doesn't really matter whether or not this uh, this technically is an add-on or technically is a bot the fact that they exist and that they do this is the problem so are you gonna argue with me now on the technicality of it well actually bro technically this is a bot so uh, why are you talking about add-ons oh so now that it's a bot doesn't matter so since it's a bot no problem as long as it's not an add-on it doesn't matter. All right, so then why why did you correct me in saying, dude, you're talk you're comparing bots to add-ons? Do we agree that there are add-ons that do too much in a game? Can we agree on that? So can we agree that there there are add-ons that do too much? All right, so we can agree there are add-ons that do too much. We can agree that this bot does too much. Now we could say the bot does a hell of a lot more too much than what an add-on would do too much, but we can agree. The add-ons and bots can go... Well, bots go too far anyways. Add-ons can go too far. My comparison wasn't between DBM and this. I was never comparing DBM to this. In fact, I was disagreeing with someone in chat who tried to compare DBM to this. Because I did say from the beginning, DBM doesn't do this. DBM does provide too much information, which then means that the developers have to over-design bosses to counteract the information that DBM is already providing. But DBM does not provide anywhere near the level that these things are, are providing. So I was disagreeing with people. What I said was, it falls to the same problem. With the existence of things like this and the existence of things like, D like DBM, the game itself becomes almost unauthentic, if that makes sense. So the the authenticity of the game goes missing because, well, these things should just be outlawed 100%. You should break the functionality of these things uh, or find a way to detect it. I'm, I wanna know why is it so hard for games to spot bot behavior? Is it truly the challenge? And this is a genuine question. I'm not sort of trying to play a gotcha game here with the gaming industry. Is it really that difficult to spot a bot? It doesn't always have to be intrusive. And to be fair though, um, Zaraji, since you're already playing an MMO that has to be online all the time and that you have to log into anti-cheat, how's that gonna bother you in any way, shape or form? The only time we really care about anti-cheat going too far is in single-player games that we would love to play offline, but this anti-cheat thing forces online and then farms a bunch of our information. You breach law. Anti-cheats that people run are kernel-level stuff. Um, shouldn't be in this game, as it's pretty scripted repetitive, repetitively. Uh, the problem is invading privacy of users. Uh, I'm literally spitballing here, so I'm not making any judgments or any sort of uh I'm, I'm genuinely this was me asking a question i can see why you guys think this is very fucking difficult to do um Mitzom, how you doing bro thanks for the first time chat really appreciate it welcome to the channel thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate uh you enjoying the content and i'm very happy to have you at the stream um i feel like with the right ai detection would an ai not be able to eventually learn patterns that can only be sort of done by bots because you do get that that's what a lot of the anti-cheat stuff will do right so an anti-cheat will for example pick up when you're too fast with your aiming 
or you're too fast with your aiming and your shooting, the anti-cheat picks up weight. That is way too fucking fast. No human can be that fast, and then it will ban you. Now, it does make mistakes, and, and you have to be con conscious of that, but I feel like if you employed AI to track the movement of players within the game, you should be able to pick up when someone is using something that they're not technically supposed to use. Like, for example, how hard would it be to simply track input? Again, asking a genuine question here, because I don't know. Hardware, no problem. I can build a PC. Software, not so much. Um, I hate software. Could you not just track the physical keystrokes, which is a key logger, which could be a problem, but isn't there a way of tracking it on sort of the client side? That's too intrusive. Gray line, it opens a can of worms. As long as it only, uh, but then you get into the problem of, let's say you're in the game, but you quickly open your bank uh, website and then you log into your bank website. Does this bot now also track your key logs when you're not focused on the game since the game is running? So I could see how that could be a huge fucking issue. So effectively what we're saying is, if we don't want bots, we have a choice. Either we have our privacy or we don't have bots. Is that is that effectively what this boils down to? You can have your privacy or you can have bots or you don't need bots, but you can't have both. Why isn't that an issue in 99% of other games? It is though, Carol. Like if you if you go on Reddit right now for almost every single game in the world, there are people complaining about bots in uh, Fallout 76, in Call of Duty, in Battlefield, in WoW, in FF14, obviously. Uh, every single game has complaints about botting. Could have an AI on each computer learn how to play, and if it ever deviates, then it would know. I mean, that would maybe, but I, 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 I don't know. I genuinely don't know what the, what the solution is. I just know that you can't allow this to continue to happen. Cast loads of bots. Guild Wars 2 basically allows one type of bot. What bot is that? But Zom, the, the problem is <coughs> sometimes bots literally simply exist for the fuck of it. Like sometimes bots genuinely just exist because people are lazy and they, they're not interested in doing anything. So they just run the bot. More often than not, bots is a financial solution so there's a financial incentive in world of Warcraft, for example there's a massive financial incentive for botting because people buy gold and in order to buy gold the gold sellers need gold um to sell so botting becomes the way in which to make the gold how do you fix that tf2 where they only made uh to fuck over people most bots are rmt and ff2 just to ruin the game and Genuinely, sometimes there are people, uh, Branter, like Branter just said there, genuinely, sometimes there are people who bot literally just to fuck with people. They, they, they have no incentive other than fuck you. This is funny. I'm enjoying myself. Screw you. Uh, you, you see people, for example, in COD do this quite often where they will run all manner of cheats that effectively play the game for them only because why not, you know? Why not? It, this is It's funny to watch other people not understand how the fuck I'm so fast in killing them. It's just funny. I remember we once played, uh, me and my friends, we were playing, um, do you guys remember when uh, Player Unknown, PUBG, was huge? We were playing PUBG and uh, we were inside this house, like literally in the house, crouching. We were sort of uh, potty boys, you know, just waiting for people to walk in. And suddenly, all four of us got sniped. Just fucking sniped from nowhere. Someone was using a hack. This, they could literally snipe us from anywhere on the map, through all terrain, walls, anything, just fucking snipe you dead. I mean, there's no fun in playing like that. The guy who's doing it isn't having fun because he literally loads into the game and all he has to do is press shoot. And the camera will aim to where all the players on the map is and just shoot them. He's not having fun. He's doing it purely because he can. Because why wouldn't he? People molding. He's fun as annoying others. Yeah. I know a guy who builds cheats for games, but he doesn't let anyone use them. He just d does it to prove for developers that their anti-cheat doesn't work. And in 99% of the time, the developers ignore him. The only time he actually got a response was from Epic Games with Unreal Tournament. 
I feel like that is another way to go with it because a lot of companies these days will hire uh, hackers to test their security. That is another way that a lot of these gaming companies can go. Go to the physical people building the bots and the people building the hacks and get them to plug your game. You know, get them to, to basically fix your game so that it's not that easy. That is obviously another way that they could go with it. They're called penetration testers. Ooh, kinky. That doesn't sound like a real job. It sounds more like a, a sex thing. Remember, it breaks games, makes videos. Uh, most games fix their shit. Bethesda still haven't. Bethesda fixing video games? Nah, bro. They have 16 times the detail. Why would they fix anything? What are you talking about? Apocalypse, really? It just works. I don't know what you're talking about. Bethesda, it just works. 16 times the detail. It just works. There are no bugs. Never. Um, I don't know how to worry about Starfield. <laughs> Starfield, lol. I think that's ever launching. Like, do we even know anything about Starfield? We know it's been delayed once again, but do we know anything about that game? Does anyone know what that game is even going to be about? They should in a game and leave it to the players to fix it. Yep. And then, of course, they merge with Xbox games, uh, Xbox game, uh, like Xbox, and uh, launch on Xbox Game Pass, and then the games are unmoddable on Xbox Game Pass. It's funny. There's a bit of lore and some alpha footage, but that's it. Third of star, fields of stars, but space and fields of stars. Yeah, but what I meant was we've we've not we've not gotten really anything. Like no real cinematic yet for the game, no real sort of insight into what the purpose or sense of the game is going to be. Um, and what bothers me a little is didn't this sort of start development around the time of No Man's Sky? I feel like this started sort of around the same time as No Man's Sky, which means, is it just a, an exploration game? I mean, the one thing we can be certain of is that it will be 16 times the the, the detail and will just work. This, this we know. Like, there's no doubt about that. I have no doubt in my mind that it is just going to work and, and that it, it's going to be perfect in every single way. I just want to know what it's all about. And I'm waiting for them to basically launch the pre-order so I can buy it immediately. Black Wukong should be fucking lit. I've, I didn't even play the first one. I thought it was supposed to be like Skyrim in space. I wouldn't mind if it was Skyrim in space because I do like me some fucking space games. Dude, I genuinely, I was hovering over um, Star Trek online the other day. I thinking to myself, let's try out Star Trek the on, uh, online because I fucking love the Star Trek universe. I'm just not sure how the MMO would play because apparently it's not good. Less detail on the game. Uh, I've never played with anyone who would use add-ons to put someone down while playing the game for 15 years. If you do see that, that's your fault for surrounding yourself with people like that. Uh, Andy, I would say it does happen quite often in Aleph R. You'll see that quite often in Aleph R where people will... Um, well, you can't really say don't do Aleph R, considering Aleph R is meant for super, ca super casual players that isn't really supposed to care about add-ons and shit like that. They're casuals. That's why they're doing Aleph R. So to just say don't do Aleph R then, well then, who, who was Aleph R designed for? If it's not for the ultra casual that doesn't need an add-on and shouldn't need an add-on and also doesn't deserve to be harassed with add-ons telling them that their dps is too low what is alifar's reason for existence then it's just normal pepsi max it's just normal pepsi max like no flavor just maximum taste no sugar that's it story difficulty of wow except the story is shit well i would actually argue that alifar is definitely harder than normal and in some cases could may as well be as hard as heroic I don't think LFR is as easy as, as people think it is. Uh, WL Various, thanks for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought it's a new one. No, I don't like flavored shit. Like, if I'm drinking Pepsi Max, I just want the flavor of Pepsi Max. I don't like... We have a vanilla and a lime flavor here. I fucking hate those. From some of my friends, that normal mode is easier than LFR for this tier. No one knows what they're doing. <laughs> Alifar shouldn't exist. It's tuned for not playing the encounter actively. It's beating your head against the wall until you see a crack. Well, yeah, but now we're starting to change the entirety of the game, which I could agree with, but that's not really part of the discussion. Right now it does exist and it, it isn't optimal. Nowhere near even. 
Just saying, normally, uh, that's a 50 max. Normal of black, no? Oh, you mean these? It, it sort of deviates, so... Some of them are green, some of them are black. Uh, like, there's a bottle that I had water in yesterday. It has a black cap um, on the floor there. I'm not going to get it now. But it has a black cap. I should throw that bottle away, though. I, I couldn't find my water bottle yesterday. And so I just fucking took one of the Pepsi Max bottles and just filled it up with water. But I found my water bottle, so I should throw that one away now. Just make bosses. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that Blizzard should do. But I don't want to get into that conversation anymore. Because uh, I'm tired of it. We'll wait and see. That's that's the best I can do for you guys right now. Is let's wait and see. Let's see what Blizzard comes up with in, in Dragonflight. Um, I'm keeping an open mind. And uh, we'll see. 